My family, hi, I greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Church with your brother Joseph. So I actually have a new update concerning the Ghanaian elections from Prophet Uberenjo. So listen closely to what he's going to be saying and you tell us what you think about this in the comments below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Pay particular attention to his words. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to someone next to you. Tell them God is in this place. And a move is about to take place. A move is about to take place. A move is about to take place. There are some here. I've mentioned about Ghana. And within the morning, before I have to be with my father, Pastor Chris, what I'm trying to say is I'll go to the Mount Moriah to that Fort Moriah place and we'll get there and I will talk to God about Ghana so hear me well so that when I come from there I'm going to tell you directly with no if buts or 98% or 99% it will be 100 in that moment you don't need to pray even if you pray you can't change what I will say I will tell you who is going to be the president without ifs or buts or this or that. You can cut what you like out of context. It doesn't fly. I'm beyond that level of stupidity. I've been doing this for years. I'll tell you and even say again, this one I'll say 300 million percent. And it will be exactly the same way I say it. It will never change. You listen. I can miss lunch. I can miss breakfast. I can miss dinner. I can't miss prophecy. You wait until you die. This man here will not miss prophecy. No, it's never going to happen. Wait, right? What? Breathe fire if you like. See. I'm saying from now on, listen to what I will say about Ghana. Now, from now on. Why am I saying from now on? Because tonight, I have to talk to the two candidates. This one on this side, and this one who is the vice president of the country. I have to talk to them. And when I talk to them, I will hear what they say. You say, you say how? I will call them. I have their direct numbers. I will call them today. And hear what this one is saying. Hear what this one is saying. And then come here and say, I'm now convinced this one stands for God more than this one. One of them is a Muslim. One of them is a Christian. So by any means necessary, my direction is a Christian. But this is not a Christianity in that sense. What if a Muslim will be able to do more for God than a Christian? Not talking about Ghana now. I'm coming back here. Not talking about Ghana. What did they say? Not talking about, repeat this, not talking about Ghana now. Most Christians, when they promise you they are going to do this, they won't do it. You put Christians in power, they don't make up for what was lost when they were not in power. They will not respect Christianity. Look at what we did with Obama. Waste of time. That was the beginning of the fall of America under Obama. But guess why, why we did it? skin and this is why i don't like this thing of calling mixed race people black who told you this 23 chromosomes 23 chromosomes why why is this one black obama was white i don't believe in that nonsense i will be able to tell you here pa 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 you go with what you like. Was it not last week? I stayed two days. I said, when you see him, when you, he wins, you will start saying. And people didn't even know what was I saying. What date is it? 10 November. This is the day I'm saying, measure what I say from now. We'll give you a backdrop, a background um, when the prophet comes. We'll give you a backdrop of all we said, but that's neither here nor there. Because I needed him to call in 10 days. We then got a call after a few days, after days, days after, in fact, weeks after. 
and there were discussions there, there were con conversations there on what God will do through him. But you see, what about him who is a Muslim? Why are we just ignoring the Muslim guy? Because he's a Muslim? No. Let's hear what he is doing for Christians. If a Muslim is going to come here and give freedom to the church, and a Christian comes here and binds the church, I'll go with the Muslim. As much as every human being lies, but there is a certain integrity Muslims have. That if they give you their deal, you are doing a deal. I'm telling you this. I've been in business for too long. To know my Christian brothers, you tell them this, tomorrow they can shift. I said, I didn't mean, no, 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 no. You did not hear what I was saying. Is it what is in the Bible? No. So that's not to say the Bible is false. This is where the problem is. You know? You lose people like Andrew Tate as a religion. I know you don't. So he doesn't matter. He matters. He's a voice that is sharp. A voice that is poignant, important, potent, loaded. You lost him to Muslims. Why? Because you're too stuck up. So did saints. You weak. You are sissified. What is in the Bible is not seen in your works. So the people that were following Christ are thinking this is the example of Christianity. And they step out of their religion. They love Christ, but they don't love the Christian. Look at Mahatma Gandhi. He said, I love the Christ, but I hate the Christians for they are unlike their Christ. A man who was in Hinduism wanted to be a Christian. Looked at the works of Christ and says, this is what I like. Then looks at the Christians and says, uh, 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 I'm not going to be this. This is the problem with you. Christians I have a problem. In Christianity, hear this, in Christianity, Christ forgives. Christians don't. One fault a man of God makes, oy, every day they'll be talking about it. Liar, robber. Every day, every minute, they won't stop. What if he asks for forgiveness and is now safe in the hands of your Christ? He should stop preaching. Who are you? What type of choir leader can do that? Uh -uh. We have choir leaders here. Liars and thieves. 100%. But we never say anything. We just say, oh, we'll proceed. What can we do? These are our children. And sometimes you think we don't know when we know. But who do we put in your state? If we find another one, it will be a worse thief than you. Why did Jesus stay for three years with Judas who was a thief? He was the accountant and the Bible says he used to steal from the same bag. Why did he keep him? He was a chosen disciple. Don't think your sin is hidden. No, sir. No, ma'am, it's not. It's grace you are being applied. Grace is being applied to you. 